Oi, oi. All manner of persons having business to come before the honorable judges of the Court of Common Pleas and, the, and for the, co the County of Montgomery. Hair holding this day, let them come forth and appear, and they shall be heard. God save the Commonwealth and this honorable court. The Honorable President Judge Carolyn Tronetta Carluccio presiding. Thank you for this opportunity, and I am honored and humbled to be here this afternoon, having uh, known this family for some 32 years. I moved to Pennsylvania, Montgomery County in 1984, and have lived and served in Montgomery County since that time. And so uh, I feel a part of this family, and I'm sure they um, feel as much of part of me as I feel a part of them. And I'm glad to see my very good friend, Betty, Jamila's mother here, whom I love. And has been a blessing in my life. 
Let us now look to the Lord. Gracious God, each of us in our own way, from our own traditions, invoke your presence with us this afternoon as we gather on this ceremonious occasion. In your wisdom, loving God, you have set all of us within families. You have gathered families into communities and communities that combine to make us a strong county and a strong nation. We are thankful for the people of the communities of Montgomery County. And we are grateful for Jamila who have come forward to serve in the position of county commissioner. We ask now, God, that you would bless Jamila as she takes the oath of office. And with these solemn words come a public trust. So we pray that you would confirm in her a commitment to do what is true, what is right, and what is fair. Endow her with both wisdom and humility and lead her in renewing ties of mutual respect which form our civic life. Now God, fill us all with a renewed commitment to work for the people of our county. Deliver us from the political pessimism that so affects our age and keep us attuned to the highest standards of public service. Grant us the vision to work for goals and purposes larger than ourselves and give us the energy and zeal to carry the vision forward. Blessed are you, our God, for you have set us within this community and called us to promote the coming good. In your name we pray, amen. I made a little paper. Okay. I am Jamila's aunt. Jamila, oh, I'm sorry, but I got a loud mouth, okay. <laughs> Jamila Winder Mitchell comes from a long line of strong black women who are all educators. Jamila's grandmother, Mary Duff, is 103 years old. She taught secondary school in Philadelphia for over 40 years. She is also a minister. Jamila's mother, Betty Winder, is also an educator and counselor in the Philadelphia school system for over 30 years. Her father, William Winder, served as a corrections officer for over 40 years. So you can see leadership is in the blood. Um, next page. Okay. Jamila is dedicated to her family and community. She is currently a caregiver for her disabled mother and father and grandmother. She is employed full time. She is a mother of a two-year-old, Max. She is a devoted wife to Kevin Mitchell. Jamila will work tirelessly within the guidelines of her position and use her platform to spotlight the disabled, children, and seniors. She will serve with honor and pride. Last page. <laughs> Jamila, you have family that love you, and we are so proud of you. You have so many friends that love you. We will always be here for you and support you moving forward. May God bless you and guide you. Thank you. Good afternoon, and yes, I am Naomi Winchester. 
I applaud the presiding judge, the courts, everyone watching on stream and social media. I'd like to thank her mother, Betty Winder, Mr. Winder, and her brother for sharing Jamila with me for the last 33 years. On this first day of February, I realized that you learn a lot about someone in that time. I look forward to giving you a snip of legacy for Jamila Winder. As I am a Montgomery County resident for about 30 years, I grew up in a predominantly white community, Plymouth Township. As a young black girl, I don't always fit in. Whereas I am blessed to have a mother who knew being the only black girl in a room was the social sacrifice of educational gain. My mother, like Miss Winder, worked tirelessly for their children. They knew that they had to present them to the world in a special way. And with that, we met each other at Mount Zion African Methodist Episcopal Church in the YPD, the Young People's Division. In this program, I met again an ambitious little girl with two picket tails, <laughs> pigtails, excuse me, and I bonded with her mother who took me in and treated me as her own. We took time at the King of Prussia Mall, at the food court, for sure. We had our priorities straight. We also went roller skating on weekends, and eventually we made a pact that we were gonna to go to college and get a career. We have many trials and many victories that we've encountered together. The one thing I would like to share today is the trailblazing woman that continues to ride, remind me to remain grateful and humble. Jamila truly leads by example. She is always thinking of others. Like her mother and grandmother, she too provides selfless acts of hope for the less fortunate, even while on vacation. Life is always about challenges, but it is how you balance them. Jamila continues to demonstrate our YPD core principles to grow by using self-determination. She takes care of herself and never forgets her roots. I admire how she can compartmentalize and seek out engineering ways to bring people together. To be a friend of Jamila Winder, you find yourself practicing therapeutic self-care like hip-hop Zumba after having three kids and gaining 40 pounds, hosting paint with a twist social events to raise awareness for congenital heart disease, which is the number one cause of death among children around the world. Her most adventurous life challenge is to love someone that continues to struggle with addiction. Never giving up on them, she continues to stand in the gaps and hold the line. Never fishing for the others, but continuing to share tools on how to learn to fish for yourself. The loyalty that never the loyalty of never giving up and building a better future for little girls and boys that watch her react to obstacles. Jamila holds a spirit of hope and understanding, which brings me to the takeaway point of why the role of county commissioner is perfect fit is a perfect fit for my long, my lifelong friend Jamila Winder. I am a witness to her countless outreach of giving 
and not looking for anything in return but self-reliance. Whereas county representation means having the understanding, personality, and motivation, motivating demeanor. Who you are to the core of your heart matters. I confirm with all of you today that Jamila Winder will represent the public with the best practices and guide our county leaders to, prof to a professional handbook as the county commissioner. I thank you all for joining us today again to make this a special historical and life altering commitment. And you could be anywhere in the world, but you choose to be here. And I thank you for that. I, I would be remiss having represented the greater Norristown community for the better part of the last dozen years. It's a particularly proud day for those of us who've represented the greater Norristown community. And I see a lot of friendly faces here who are so excited about Jamila's selection uh, to fill the big shoes that Dr. Arkush leaves behind. Uh, and we are just so, so proud and so happy for you that we know this is the right choice at the right time and the right woman uh, for this position. Uh, I got to know uh, Jamila really serving on the Norristown School Board, which sometimes just seems like a minute ago. And I know right now uh, we, we all, thanks to Abbott Elementary, have learned more of the, the trials and tribulations of under-resourced uh, school districts here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And while it's nice that that show can uh, put a human face to it, the challenges of districts like Norristown uh, in a county where we are so proud, and rightfully so, of our tremendous uh, affluence and so much that is good. We recognize here uh, in our county seat uh, that we have certain challenges that we need to address. And we are blessed to have leaders like Jamila who stepped forward uh, and served the Norristown School District at a time where, uh, frankly, and anyone who's followed local uh, school boards in the recent years recognizes whether it was pandemic or our recent political strife, um, school board takes a special kind of person in the best of times. And unfortunately, we've not had that uh, for the last few years. Jamila led on that board with grace. She led in an ability to unite people. Uh, Norristown is a special district. It has special meaning to me as it does to many in this, uh, in this room today. Jamila was a shining star in that room. Jamila is someone who understood the challenges of making sure that every child, no matter what zip code or where they came from or what color of their skin or what religion or who they loved, that they deserved a good education. And Jamila's tireless fight to make sure that those kids who unfortunately because of a legislature, of which I'm a member, so I'm not throwing anyone under the bus, has not always given the districts like Norristown what they need. Jamila took up the cause. She gave them voice. And you're going to hear Jamila's voice in a little bit, I'm pretty sure. And you're going to hear it for the next 11 months and God willing, long, long beyond that. And what you're going to hear is a voice of one very smart, very passionate, very thoughtful, and very kind leader for Montgomery County. But Jamila wasn't happy just to bring her voice to the school board. And, and let's be honest, there was a few of us who said you should take your voice to another perch. And that perch was the East Norton Board of Supervisors. And anyone who knows the communities know it's a little bit different representing East Norton. Um, but you know what? Jamila is a, brings people together. And that's what I said about her, her time in the school board. Very similar in East Norton Township. Her humanity, and I think you said it so well, people love Jamila. And it's, it's no small thing in politics. I wish I had it. Uh, but uh, Jamila has that ability to bring people together who recognize warmth and recognize passion and recognize our shared humanity. And she's been a real leader in our community. Um, the other day, someone who had just met Jamila the day before had said, you know, I knew she was a rock star. And I don't want to use the, the story of a former president because that gets overused. But like, you know the speech? And you just said that person was going somewhere. 
Well, I think a lot of people in Montgomery County are going to find when they get to know Jamila, when they hear her talk and they hear her passion, uh, they're going to know that this is a young woman who has a very bright future. Uh, and I, as you know, someone in the, in the elected official realm, know her that way. Uh, but one thing, and I, and I will close with this, is what has meant the most is getting to know a little bit of her personal story. See, county commissioner, and, and I say this with uh, mindful of the words of, of Commissioner Lawrence, who always said, you know, people think, you know, county commissioner is something very different. It's a jumping off point for running for these different offices. He's like, fundamentally, what county commissioner is, it's making sure that human services, making sure that our sick relative or those who need a little bit of extra help, that's really the job. Now, sometimes a contested presidential election or a worldwide pandemic comes along and people learn some of the other skills that are necessary to be a successful county commissioner. But what county commissioner is in many ways, what its most important job is taking care of one's families, our families, your family. Jamila knows that story. That's her story. That's her family's story. That's a story that everyone should want in a county commissioner. So I just want you to know, yes, as an elected official, you couldn't have picked a better person. But the most important thing I would say is you couldn't have picked a better person. That's who Jamila is. That's why we're glad to be celebrating on this day. And I just want to add my voice to those that have already said, uh, congratulations. We look forward to your service. And we look forward to bigger and better things ahead. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Madam President, Judge Carluccio, and members of the Court of Common Pleas. And I see several district judges here as well. Uh, my fellow row officers, state and federal local elected officials, Montgomery County employees, and the distinguished guest of uh, the woman of the moment, our soon to be sworn in commissioner. Can I ask, um, if you served on East Norton with Jamila or you served on the Norristown Area School District Board, will you stand up? Will you stand up if you're one of Jamila's colleagues from one of those boards? L look at that. That's a testament right there that your colleagues came to support you in this moment. Well, I'm the final speaker before a truly historic moment the first female president judge in Montgomery County history will swear in the first female African-American county, county commissioner in Montgomery County history. In 2017, I took the, my oath of office in this very same courtroom and became the first African-American county commissioner in Montgomery County history. And people ask me, how did it feel? And I would respond, I've been black my whole life, so it doesn't feel much different. <laughs> but then I added that it doesn't matter that I am the first. It should only matter that I am not the last. And today, today, on the first day of Black History Month 2023, I stand before you to say, I am not the last. And while it's important to acknowledge the historic nature of this appointment, and we've heard so much about Jamila in just a short amount of time here, I don't want the historic nature of this appointment to overshadow the character, the qualifications, and the accomplishments of this talented individual with a mind to lead and a heart to serve. When I first met Jamila, she was running to serve on the Norristown Area School District Board. I believe serving as a school board director is the most important, but the most thankless and unappreciated job in public service. But Jamila wanted to give back to the school district she had graduated from, she wanted to ensure even better opportunities for the students following her. And then she went on to become an East Norton supervisor, another elected office with long nights, away from her husband and son, little reimbursement, and a lot of complaints. But Jamila has always been committed to her community and paying it forward. A lot of people have reached out to me over the past few days. Seems like everybody knows Jamila. <laughs> and everyone loves Jamila. She has a high IQ, 
but also a high emotional intelligence. And her lived experience make her empathetic to the struggles and concerns of our most vulnerable citizens and also our employees. So while we celebrate this historic moment about to take place, let's make sure we also celebrate and see and thank this accomplished woman who has overcome barriers and smashed glass ceilings with a smile and in heels and a desire to improve the lives of others in her community, always. Martin Luther King Jr. in his famous I Have a Dream speech spoke of a day where little children would be judged not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. Jamila Winder is a tremendous, accomplished woman of the highest character. I'm looking forward to serving with her, and I'm looking forward to those in Montgomery County who don't know to know that we are fortunate to have her step up again to serve and lead. Jamila is the real deal. And we're going to get in a lot of good trouble this year. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I never imagined a day where I'd have standing room only. Um, so good afternoon, Montgomery County officials and staff, residents and friends. I would like to thank you for joining today's ceremony, as it is a great honor to stand before you as your newly appointed county commissioner. First, I would like to thank President Judge Carluccio and our esteemed judges for appointing me to fill Dr. Val Arcush's vacancy. I am grateful to Dr. Arcush for her leadership over the past eight years. In addition, I am grateful to Commissioner Ken Lawrence and Montgomery County Democratic Committee Chairman Jason Salas, along with the entire selection committee for recommending me for the appointment and for your collective commitment to living by demonstrating our democratic values. It is a privilege to be in the company of those that I admire and many I am eager to work alongside. This new beginning comes to me as a full circle moment brought to, brought to life. At this moment, um, and Ken just mentioned this, I reflect on Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech and the famous excerpt. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Today, Dr. King's dream is a reality. <laughs> uh, in 1983, my parents relocated their young family to East Norton Township from Philadelphia. My parents' vision was to give their children abundant opportunities. And that vision has been realized for my brother and I from our rich experiences growing up in a community that I have pr now proudly called home for more than 40 years. My mother, who's here, a steadfast and loyal educator of the Philadelphia school system, instilled in me the importance of service, giving back, and an unwavering belief that education truly is a superpower. She was raised by my now 103-year-old living grandmother, a reminder of our, county's dark, our country's dark past. My grandma, also an educator, minister, and woman of color, was raised in the segregated South, where she lacked many opportunities that today we take for granted. She remains our matriarch and, our, and an exemplary model of grace, dignity, and strength. My father served as deputy warden for the PA Department of, Department of Corrections at Greaterford. As you can imagine, his teachings were an alternative side of life, applying stories where opportunities were lacking Struggles were abundant, and hope had seemed lost for many in his daily interactions. 
The palatable realities my parents brought home each day created an awareness in me that a bridge surely could be made between their worlds and those in its orbit. And I was determined to construct a way to live out their vision. After college, I started a career in education and quickly found my passion, helping ensure that working adults and high school students had access to equitable educational opportunities. After embarking on this mission for several years, I knew there was more to do for my community. Novice to local politics, Bill Caldwell will tell you, and innocently unaware of the enormity of the challenges of Norristown Area schools, my experience as a school director opened my eyes to the inequities that schools and districts like Norristown are facing. I never realized that a school district that had given me so, so much had lacked some of the basic resources needed to ensure all of its children receive the best education. So I'd like to thank some of my teachers for being here today, including Mr. Taylor, who was my sixth grade middle school teacher and track coach. Um, I, re I really have an appreciation for the work that you, you did, so I'm, I'm grateful for you. Um, after three years of serving on the Narstown School Board, it allowed me to step up and become the first African-American supervisor in East Narton Township. I'm glad some of my colleagues are here today. My goal was to ensure that there was representation on the board that reflected the community that related to me and the one I reside in with my husband and young children. During my time on both boards, our accomplishments were abundant, challenges at times frustrating, and the learning experiences abound. I will now apply these experiences and lessons to my role as commissioner. As I think about what called me to consider this role, there are several reasons why I'm excited to be your county commissioner. Montgomery County needs to have leaders that reflect the diversity of our neighbors, not just in race or gender, but in lived experiences. My experiences caring for my elderly parents, as a working mother with a young family, as a woman of color, I represent many residents and can relate to their needs based on lived experiences. I also have extensive experience leading teams and I am thrilled to work with and support more than 2,800 of the best and brightest talent working here in the county. It is not lost on me that today, February 1st, 2023, as I'm sworn in as your county commissioner, I will again claim this title as the first African American to serve as commissioner at the start of Black History Month. <laughs> I represent three generations of black women pioneering for their families, breaking barriers for their communities, and initiating change where it really matters the most. With this great honor laid out before me, I would be remiss not to acknowledge and thank people that have been my cheerleaders along the way. Mom, and I'm gonna try not to get up emotional here. Mom, thank you for loving me unconditionally, even in times of adversity. You are the epitome of a mother, and I'm really grateful for you. Grandma, I wish you could be here, but I know you are always with me in spirit. You've taught me the power of faith and family, and I carry your favorite scripture with me always. Be not dismayed, whate'er be tied, God will take care of you. Aunt Carol, my fun aunt, aunt Carol, thank you for always keeping me laughing, for caring for me like your own daughter, and for always being that sounding board when life gets hard. Miley, hi Miley. Thank, thank you for teaching me how to be a mom. We've had so many adventures and fun and looking forward to taking you to Disney for your fifth birthday. Max, you are simply the best. You are mommy's greatest achievement. And the life I live and decisions I make will always be for your benefit and opportunity. Kevin, I know my calling to serve and my demanding schedule has been hard on our family. I'm grateful for your commitment to our family as a husband and father. Your calming presence helps keep me centered on the things that matter most. 
give me one second. I lost my last page. <laughs> All right. To my extended family, friends, colleagues, former teachers, it takes a village to raise a child. And I'm grateful to my village for your support, love, and guidance and prayers over the years. Lastly, thank you to the Norristown community. This area and community have given me a life I could have never imagined. I'm proud to represent you. And finally, again, I want to thank everyone here today that's been a part of my swearing in. Thank you to county officials, row officers, federal and state elected officials, community partners, and all of our county staff. Together we will continue our important work in service to the residents of Montgomery County. By working together, we will continue to improve the lives of our residents and make sure our county remains the best place to live, work, learn, and start a business. As your county commissioner, I will work every day to make this a reality. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank all of you. Let us now hear our closing. Lord God, thank you for your abundant love and care for us. Fill us with your wisdom and your compassion for others. May you bless us with your never-ending love. Amen.